Okay, so we, let's talk about a few different exercises that you can do to help turn the volume down on your pain um, for your shoulders that we use kind of a wooden dowel, a broom handle, any kind of stick, um, you know, a piece of PVC pipe, whatever you can get that's kind of um, about three feet in length um, is typically a good length for, for most people. So what we're trying to do is just move the shoulders, trying to use the one arm to help the other so that you can keep it as comfortable as possible and you can control the range of motion. So we are fighting gravity a little bit, so we call this active assistive uh, range of motion exercises. So we're just moving throughout your available pain-free range of motion. You wanna keep it comfortable and not forcing into the pain-free range. It's more just about moving gently and you can use the one arm to assist the other so that you can keep it um, comfortable and it's just about moving that joint and flushing the fluid through that joint as much as possible uh, by movement. So we'll show you a couple different key uh, ways that you can move your shoulders uh, so the first one that I like to start with is just a shoulder flexion. So just moving your arms up and down. So you just lay down flat and you're just moving up as high as you feel like you can. So it may only be that high at first and you just go, you know, right to the edge of where you can go. And if you need to use the, like, let's say if my right arm were injured, I'm using my left arm to help lift the right and you, you go as far as you can and then control it back down. So slow and steady. And you do really as many of those as you can do. And you should be able to eventually kind of drop down even below the level of the table um, as you build that range of motion. So that's flexion. Then we've got, so putting your hands on the ends of it, uh, if you can, or, or like this, uh, or actually preferably with your thumbs opposing from each other for this one. And we're gonna swing it up this way, as high as you feel like you can go. Again, it may only be that far at first. Um, like so, or hands on the ends, and you're, you're moving that arm up, sweeping it through, like so. So that we call abduction, abduction. The next one then is, is kind of a combination of the two, so we're moving kind of in this direction. So you're gonna hold onto the end of the stick, or you can go thumb up, and you're gonna move up using the right arm to help the left and bring it back down. We're here, up, and back down. So what that looks like on this side, same idea, holding here, up, and back down. Letting the right arm help the left as much as need be, or the left arm help the right in this case. Um, and then the last one is uh, an internal and external range of motion. So you can use that stick to come here, um, and then you're gonna push it up and down up and down, trying not to let the elbow come down here. You're trying to keep it here and you're gently pushing it up as far as you feel like you can go um, and back down. So again, they're just meant to add a lot of motion. You just wanna keep it moving and keep it really gentle um, and stay in control and build on that slowly as you get more and more range of motion, as things relax and your body gets more comfortable with movement, it should become easier and easier and then you can move more and more. And so just build on that slowly and you'll do great.